Kiora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. Um, I um, forgot to turn the camera on as usual, but I am making a, um, a coffin um, following along with Dawn from Let's Make It. Let's make a mess today. Um, and I cut out my bits of paper and I put it on some masking tape. And then when I painted it and dried it, it came up all knobbly and and I really like that. So I'm thinking I might lay some in here. What I did is I cut out three shapes and cut the middle out of the shape just to give it a little bit of an indent. And um, so I think I'm going to put some of this on here so that I can get that same effect, hopefully. Mm. And I've got my sh shaky fingers on today. Oops, oops, sorry, forgot to turn my phone down. I'll just do that straight away. So I have a family chat with my daughters and granddaughter and um, so I get little updates all day about what's going on in their life and for their day. And my son and daughter-in-law have gone to Wellington for the day or the night to pick up a spa pool because her mum and dad's just sold her house, their house and um, they're giving them the spa pool so they're going to pick it up so my grandson is staying with my daughter and um, he's playing with her she's got a galah and he's playing with the bird and she keeps on sending me video <laughs> we'll see how this is going to go I hope I'm not putting my head in the way Excuse my mucky hands, but I was dying a bit of um, curtaining because I don't have any of all that fancy stuff that you ladies use with your Halloween stuff because we just don't we just don't get it. So. Hopefully this all. It all nice and lumpy. I'm really quite enjoying doing these Halloween things. As I say, we don't. It's starting to get more popular, you know. The mothers bringing the young children around and things like that. In the last couple of years, but. Nothing like what you do in America. All right, let's see how that goes. And I'll put some black gesso on it. And hopefully it'll give it a, the same look as that. Not a very nice day today. It's not raining, but it's overcast and not very nice. So, so come into the craft room. Husband's out working in the caravan, trying to get a few things done to it before he has his surgery. Just a couple of little minor things. All right, better heat. Draw. Let's see what happens. Right. Well, it came up a little bit like that. Not as good as this one. And I think it's because I layered it and layered it. But never mind. It's given it a little bit of effect. Quite like that. And now I'm going to turn over to the... Oh, my grungy fingers. 
Right, now the back, I'm just going to gesso. Got my old um, white one out so the black would show up on it. Just made my hinge out of um, masking tape. Right, I'll just give that a dry off. Right now, the front, the top, I've got this grungy paper that I made. I thought maybe I could lay that on the top and then paint over it, make it more grunt black. It gives it a little bit of a. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I think I'm going to give that a try. And what I need is a pillow brush. Let's put that in the way. Get rid of that for the moment. Now, I think I might need Liquitex for that. Open this up. I mm, thought that might do that. It wasn't quite dry. Takes a while for these to dry. Probably, you mind? It'll do. It will be okay. All coming out from the wash. Nice thick coat to hold it down. Hopefully, this works. Too close for a start. So I have to do some more gluing down by the look of it. Just 
the paper a bit of a Oops, be careful, start ripping it. Right. Now, I'm quite sure about that, whether it's going to go over the side or not. Might have to. Might have to. Let's give it a bit of a trim off and see how we go. the green there. Mm, giving it a, a mouldy grungy look. to be standing up in the front on well, the inside because it might stop it from closing over properly Quite cool, quite like that. Definitely looking right. To give it a dry off and and then I'll be back. Right, that's that's what it's looking like, and I'm really happy with that. I just need a little bit. A little bit more of a trim on this bit here, I think. around it with black to um, awesome all right now what are we going to do On the inside I've got these bits of bits of um, curtain misses that I um sprayed with homemade sprays to take the whiteness off it. I'm going to put bits of that over it, I think. Just a little bit just to go in it. I don't want it to. Little bits to hang out, just tiny little bits, I think. So just some little spready bits over the edge. I can trim the rest off afterwards, anyway. Oh, 
finger. It hurt. Clumsiest thing out I am. Right, just get there. And I think I might just put that down with my glue gun, I think. Scrunchy up bits. Don't want it to be too flat. Not that I know what I'm doing really, I'm just playing it by here, it's just doing it as it let's give it some some of wax off my fingers. All right, now where is my skeleton? I'm just gonna pop him down there. Let's give him a little bit of so that you don't fit in there. hand up, which I broke. Oh. Right. Put his elbow down over here. Bolt. Yeah. That's what he's looking like. It's quite cool. I'm quite like that. Grungy. I might have a bit more of that. Put it on the end there. down here. It's a little bit of oh peaches. Yeah. That looks cool. There's a little glue in there. Awesome. I like that. Oh look at this. Another bit here. Down and under here. Put that glue under there. Put his ribs down, I think. There. There. I'd be liking that. I'd be liking that. Anything in with them? I'd have to have a think about this. All right, we'll go to the front. 
Excuse me, that was my stomach. Some little washers down, maybe. Pinch these out of my husband's shed. Hmm. Quite like that. Let's see if I can put them down. in there. really awesome. Love that. Right. I'm going to have to let that dry. Um, I have got these little big, oh look at my Mac ends. <laughs> Should have washed them before I started. Um, little brown breads that I'm going to Cut the um, cut the bits off. I've done two of them. Oops, and um, use them as coffin nails. And I've just lost one. Be typical of me, and I'm going to have to get down and look for it because I've only got four of them. Alright. Now, when I didn't have the camera on, they cut as easy as can be. Right. Now, I've turned my microphone down just a little bit. So that you don't have to listen to me breathing. So if it's not loud enough, could you um, please let me know? Now before I glue those on, I thought that I would just drag my ink pad across it to blacken up the... Just to give it a... Because I quite like that mouldy... Halloweeny, purpley, greeny look. Oh, I put you up too high now. It's hard to tell in my monitor. Um, so I think that's cool. I'll just blacken the edges.
Mm, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Right, now, I've also got some metallic, what is it called? Metallic luster. And I got sent in Happy Mail a lot when I first started out by um, Eileen McGuinness, I think. Um, not a, now I don't put too much of that on there, but just a little bit, just to. Just give it a little bit of a inside as well. Helps give it an aged look, I think. look. Cool. Awesome. Right. Now, get the dreaded glue gun out again. Now, I'm just going to slip that to give those a push down with. Otherwise they won't sit flat. them down. Ever burning myself? Mm, that's not a good idea. It heats up the bread. it okay. Now I was wondering, I'll give them a little blackish, blackish look to them. Cool. something on there but I don't know what yet. Oh, excuse me, I've got the hiccups now. I've got some bits of chain and I've got my lovely bit of this. I'd have to go and buy another one of these toys just to get this bit. So I think I'm going to put this down first. Because this is the closest I've got to making a, a spider sweep. Just bring it up and make it look like 
bit like that. I want to do this, I might just put it in there and about there I think. So that's what that's looking like. Can't see in my mirror. Can't see in my mirror. Oh, that looks a bit better. Right now, I've got some spiders here. And um, I've given them little white eyes and a little white tail because we have white tail spiders here in New Zealand and if they give you a bite you can be quite sick um, we don't have I don't think we have many venomous spiders but this one can make you quite poorly so that is going to go in there and I've got another one here that I started and then I thought, hmm, we're supposed to be doing this online. So I stopped. So I'll give them a little white tail. And I think that this one can come down here. Oops. That's what that's looking like. Right now, lots of this key that I have, I thought I might put a key on it. I'm not sure about that. Or I've got these, I've been picking these up off the road and they're um, bottle tops that have been run, run over and Squashed and then gone all rusty, which I thought was quite cool. So I might put a couple of those on, and maybe this key. Quite like that. That's quite acceptable. Maybe put a little bit of gold on. Hmm. Now, what do we think about that? I quite like that, I think. That's about the best I can do with what I've got. So I think that's what we might just do. Just go with your... That spidery look with the um, glue gun. The only time we like glue gun marks. Get down there and stay down there. Do a little bit, Jane. Just hold you there. Right now, I'm going to put them up there, the key to the crypt.
Right. And I think that is the front finished. I just have to find something to go inside there and I'm not sure so just leave that for now. Right, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more of the netting to it. Just to give it a little bit of something else. I'm going to scrunch that around there. We'll see how it Yelch! Damn it! Excuse me. Yeah, that was caught on that side. And then look, not a lot of it. Just, just enough to. For a bit. Ah, yes. Should I keep that hand off there and had it just hanging out the side? That would have been cool. Never mind. I had some words to go in there, but I don't know what I've got. So I'm, well, I don't have anything. I'd have to print something off. So, I think we'll call that done. So that's the inside. And that's the front. I really like the front. I'm really happy with that. Thank you for being with me, Kia Kaha, stay strong and I'll catch you again soon.